We are here in the outskirts of the main village of Calamos Island, where our Calamos Island Biological Field Station is located. Uh, this is in an area that we're standing in right now of secondary oak woodland. This oak woodland is very much uh, characteristic of this zone. It is a semi-dry, semi-arid zone that we're in, of course. Uh, here in Greece. The important thing about all of this is that this tree that we're seeing here has been standing here for a very very long time. It was standing here before the site was given over to agriculture. Now it's returning and it's already showing the features of a more mature type of habitat characteristic of the this species uh, and this uh, this species is of course Caracus foxifera of this ecosystem, the dry oak woodland. There are of course other tree species. We call it an oak woodland because it's by far the predominant one. This is a very dry formation. It generates very poorly, grows very slowly as well. So that's why these forests are now, or woodlands are very much depleted in the landscape. One of the main reasons. Also the very good wood of this tree which can take very very long time to grow. Now, uh, what uh, we can see in this habitat, which, as I said, it's about, uh, well, at this stage is about 30 or 40 years old, uh, we can see here a characteristic of this habitat. And what is this characteristic of this habitat? Is that it's designed, all of its plants are designed to accommodate for water loss. This is because the habitat is semi-arid. Here you can see, for example, very small leaves. That reduces desiccation. A waxy cuticle, you can see that the leaves are quite leathery. This also reduces desiccation, especially during the dry year, year uh, in especially in a very dry year, that is, that we have sometimes. But also, in, in general, even in winter, when in, in some places it doesn't rain too much. Uh, what is important to note is that this is also, as you can see, there's no big leaves on this and the leaves will never get any big even in, in the higher life stages of the species. And uh, that's because to avoid further the loss. What uh, you will also see, if you were here, is you will see some other species with very similar characteristics, but which also have another characteristic. Here we can see um, other species, which is Arbutus, which is a kind of peanut, although it's a shrub. It's you've ever had uh, a kind of ice cream, which in many countries uh, they call it with kaimak in Turkish or kaimak in Greek. And the resin is actually aromatic, and we'll get to that in a moment. You can see here the leaves are small and leathery again. So the resin that it produces is aromatic, and generally there is a lot of aroma in Mediterranean habitats. That's because they have this, these, these uh, chemicals, the plants, especially some of the more leathery and woody plants, that helps them avoid desiccation, these chemicals, with, using a variety of mechanisms. Now, of course, this habitat has many other important characteristics. Uh, what is important to note is we're sitting here, we're looking at this a very interesting log from one of the olive trees that was uh, here after agriculture came and yes you're right the tree looks quite a bit bigger than the other one it's not just because it's a different species it's because it was planted here and very much nurtured uh, you know fertilized and all of that but what you can see here which you could see in the other tree there you can also see very interestingly how the the bark has these small ridges rather than bigger if you find some other tree species. That's because again to avoid loss of water because the bark actually exhales water, at least the parts of it which are outside. We can also here see some more uh, species which are not woody plants. This is actually sage, you know, the one you use in cooking and all of that. But this sage is not the, that type. This one stinks. <laughs> quite a bit. The other one that looks like it is uh, the one that you eat. But here you can also see small leaves. Uh, you may not see a waxy cuticle in the leaves. You'll see that the leaves are quite soft. 
uh, but you will see that it actually as i said smells so what you can see is you can see the coupling so some uh, plants have smell less but have less you know of these chemicals ethereal chemicals while others have more and some have more waxy leaves while others have less but generally the characteristics are more or less the same here we can also see a conifer we can see a cypress which is well it's still debated whether or not it's in this specific region of Greece it's uh, you know native but it's very much native into the zone and many other parts of Greece very close to us uh, what is important to see is that of course this is a conifer so conifers generally are quite hardy and uh, this one is one that grows in the shade so that's why it's growing here under another tree and it's growing so fast but uh, the important thing about its characteristics is that it has actually no real leaves <laughs> i guess it does you know specifically but you can't really see any leaves so what you can see is that it actually tries to minimize leaf area even further so it has these things which are not exactly like leaves uh, and of course there's the characteristics that it has that it uh, grows rather slower um, that can help it in certain ways if you live longer you can have well in in a, in a human dominated world it's not a distinct advantage unfortunately but in a non-human dominated world it can have certain advantages like a strategy such as you know having more time to do things which you know even in anthropomorphizing a bit in the life of people it can be <laughs> quite beneficial sometimes and uh, that was it i have given you a summary of how this habitat is and how it works we hope to see any of you or all of you or any of us soon back here in this habitat uh, in person and in viva and uh, have a good day and until the next video